Hello everybody, this is Coach Tyra Woodruff, the Mind Reset Coach, coming to you at a holiday Florida this evening. And uh, it's 11.25 p.m. And you know me, I like to do my videos late sometimes. Uh, this video was going to start out as a rant about uh, marketing techniques, uh, especially with MLMers. But I feel that it's really going to become something of value for everybody, so I said go ahead and press play and record this video and share your experience. Now, when I talk about MLMers, I talk about people that um, work with companies that are physical product based. I'll give you a couple examples. Amway, Viasalis, um, Shakeology, uh, oh gosh, there's millions. There's millions. I don't. There's a MLM for everything. And I'm not here to knock any of that. I'm not here to knock MLM at all. I'm not here to knock the network marketers that participate in MLM. What I'm here to do though is discuss something that's really important. I'm noticing this a lot, especially with people that are just beginning in these companies or are at the beginning stages of their growth in network marketing. First things first, they, they uh, don't want to come to grips with the fact that they're salesmen and it's okay to be a salesman and you really have to kind of get in a place that that's okay you know where it's all right you're allowed to be a salesman you know so many people the people that are going to resist you are the people that are probably advertising other people's stuff all day long and not receiving a compensation for it at all so don't let anybody do that to you and really embrace sales even if you have to force yourself to go out there and embrace it you know go out there and embrace it put yourself in a situation where you're dealing with sales people uh, walk into a department store and go near the pe perfume counter. Do it. You know, go to a car lot and test drive a car. And just drive up, park, and start walking through the lot. Do it. Start to embrace the art of it because there is an art to it. And there's nothing wrong with it. Morally, there's nothing wrong with it. And if you really feel that sales is immoral, then you don't belong in MLM because that's what you are, a salesman. Um second thing is one of the things that people teach you and hopefully someone's teaching you this and what I'm feeling like is people are ignoring this aspect of their training or their uh, their personal development and I'm not sure why I think that maybe the, the reason why is the reason why I used to do this is because that you have a lot of anxiety about how much money you're making and you need to really let go of that because even though this is a better way, network marketing and MLM is a better way than most traditional jobs, it does take a lot of work and you have to kind of let go of the financial outcome. You've kind of, you've got to get involved with this from a place of service and let go of the anxiety of how much money you are or are not making. And what happens when you have anxiety about that is you start to do things that make no sense. For instance, um, and if this is if you're watching this and if you're watching this and you're the person I'm describing about in this conversation that I just had on Facebook, then you know here here listen up, okay. Go through go through a, an entire you know just met. I didn't get spammed right away or anything like that, but I'd say it was about a month we've been talking back and forth, and um, they have a they're in an MLM and it's you know seem they seem pretty happy about it and. I wanted to see their website and they wanted to see mine. We share, we exchanged links. And I looked at theirs and I was kind of impressed because the guy was using a landing page. And I kind of like, I like that. You know, if you're an MLM and you're not using one, you're going to suffer for it later. That's for sure. Don't let anybody in your company tell you that, um, that you have everything you already need right here because that's bullshit. Unless they're giving you a landing page that you are controlling and controlling the list okay be aware of that so I was impressed with that and I filled out his um I I opted in because I wanted to see the company and I wanted to see what kind of autoresponder he had because I'm a fool for that stuff I love that stuff and um, we went back and forth I didn't get any emails there was nothing attached to it and then when I did they, you know and I kind of up that like you need to develop a relationship you can't just send a link in the email with your name on it I mean it doesn't work nobody wants that and so I'll, I'll make another point right here if you don't like it happening to you don't do it in your sales don't 
So, um, we get off the, I end up unsubscribing after a while because I want to see, and he started getting a little better, and I unsubscribe because, you know, I'm, I'm not interested, and I don't want him to hold on to that, you know what I'm saying? Um, starts sending me the information on the sizzle calls and things like that, and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, the last conversation I had before today was, hey, I'm not interested in any MLM whatsoever at this point, so... We, you, if you know me, that could change any minute. But nothing that I have in front of me at all would would do that at all. Um, today, message me with another sizzle call information, and you know, basically just like, hey, you know how you doing? Staying busy? And I'm like, yeah, I'm staying busy. And I ignore the fact that he started the conversation with the sizzle call number in it, and uh, he said, oh, I forgot what your primary was. What's your primary? Really? If you're paying any attention to me whatsoever on Facebook, you know exactly what it is I'm doing. And if you remembered the initial part of our conversation where we had first met and we did like a, a link exchange to see what each other are doing, you didn't even look at it second problem, and this is the problem I really want to focus on here. Nobody's listening. I said to you in the last conversation, I'm not interested. Why are you continuing to send me promotional items? And then go to try to change the conversation is like, well, do you have this bleep? No. And I don't want it. And if I want to become a customer, I would probably look for somebody else at this point than you because you don't listen and you don't hear what it is I want. As a very good salesperson, if when you become really good at this, whether you stick it out in MLM or you move into you know, network marketing or internet marketing, whatever, however you do this, if you don't start listening to people and learning how to scroll up in messages to recap things before you continue on saying something that you shouldn't be fucking saying, you're not going to do anything with your business. Okay? Have some connection. Don't just randomly think you're making a connection with somebody and you're not even taking the time to scroll up a couple of inches in your Facebook chat to find out how the person feels. you got to start listening to people. My business partner, Cara Canavo, she had a conversation kind of like this last night. Hers was a little bit more intense, though, because the person actually became insulting. And, you know, kind of like, Esther, are you stressed out? And, and they said, well, I'm not, I'm not, like, necessarily trying to recruit you I just want to share something with you bullshit that's a lie so all MLMers out there that are lying about who you are and what you're doing stop yes it is your moral responsibility to expose as many people as possible to your opportunity and your product that's a fact if you don't feel that's a fact then you're in the wrong company you need to go find one that you love okay but in the process of that, you have to embrace the fact that you're a salesperson and that's how you're delivering that to somebody. That is how you're delivering it. The sales process, you need to learn it and fall in love with it. You can't ignore or insult people. You can't say, oh, you know, like, I didn't do that to that guy I'm talking about. I didn't do that and say, you know, well, you need to get in my program and you need to get in the TK Marketing Alliance because we teach people how to to email market do copywriting perfectly and blah, blah 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 I didn't get into that insulting shit if he's paying any attention to me whatsoever he knows that I'm somebody that he should be doing business with and he can go ahead and say hey you know what throw me that link again I want to take a better look at what it is you do he never once opted in to any of the landing pages I sent him he has not shown that he's given a fuck about my side of the story at all you see what I'm saying so if you're doing that and you're an MLM, you need to stop it. You need to start listening and let go of the anxiety you have about how much money you're making. Because you're never going to break through that ceiling until you let go of the anxiety of it. And, and if you keep holding on to the anxiety of it, what you're showing yourself and showing me is that you're addicted to the anxiety of it. And in a few months, I'm going to hear about how you quit or how you decided to move on to the next shiny object or whatever or I'm done with MLM or you're gonna quit the industry altogether that all comes from that anxiety 
if you just relax, take a deep breath, and learn everything you're supposed to know, even if your company doesn't provide it for you, and become a great salesperson. There's nothing wrong with being a great salesperson. Become a great, you can exercise whatever part of that is really suits you. Maybe you're, you're really great at valuing, you know, bringing a lot of value to the table. Maybe you're, you're great at tutorials or something. Maybe you're great at copy. Maybe you're great at video. Maybe, see, most of, most of the people out there that are MLMers that are watching this right now that fit the description of the person I was talking about before don't even know what those words mean yet. They haven't even become professionals in their industry yet. So if, if you're like me and you're experiencing a little bit of this, you know, don't, don't just go running off and deleting people and stuff and, unless they're absolutely insulting like the girl that um, Kara was speaking to last night. Just, you know, just it's okay because I bet you you were there too. I know I was. I know I was. Let me tell you what. And I'm sure there's a few of you people on my list or subscribe to my YouTube channel or people that have read my blogs over the years that know I was just like that. And it wasn't until I just decided, you know what, this is really what I'm doing for a living and I'm starving to death. You know, this is what I'm doing for a living and, and you know, I don't have the basic Western comforts, let alone making, you know, driving BMWs or anything like that. Maybe I need to learn how to become a professional in this industry so that I can have a breakthrough in my life. You know, when you decide that you've suffered enough, you start doing what it is you need to do to learn. And if you're addicted to the fact that you're not making enough money and you want to be insulting like the one girl was or totally ignoring the prospect like the other guy was, you're not going to get anywhere. Get over it. Get over yourself. Get over your anxiety and go pro. Get the book Go Pro. Get the book um, Think and Grow Rich. Get as much training as you can get your hands on. You could do 90% of it for free. Eventually, you're going to have to invest somewhere, whether there's an upgrade within your company that, that allows you to get more personalized training, or if you need to, you know, jump on a JV Zoo product. You know, my business partner, Michael Burns, he just released a, a report on how to boost your CEO and get ranked. And it's amazing. It's like $7.77. You can do stuff like that. The key to being professional is you learn it, and then you teach it. Okay, don't keep it all to yourself. You keep some to yourself, of course. You always do. But let go of the most important thing, guys. Let go of anxiety about whether or not you're hitting the ranks you want to. Because if you're not, if you're not going to let go of that, you're not going to ever hit the ranks you want. You can make a lot of money in MLM. You could be global, triple crown, diamond stars, and make a million dollars a month. Can you even imagine that? I want to tell you one thing that those guys don't do is they don't sweat it. When somebody says I'm not interested, they are off of it. They don't bother with insulting people. They don't bother ignoring it. They'll build a relationship because it's better off to be friends because you never know. I tell you what, who I'm going to do business with in the future is people that I've developed relationships in this industry. And if you're going to ignore what I say or be insulting to what I say or how I feel or what I think, you're the last person I'm going to turn to. You're the last person I will turn to. Okay? So, remember this. One of the best ways to make relationships in this industry is to make relationships. And don't worry about whether they join because some people will, some people won't, and it doesn't fucking matter. If you're professional, you will attract people to you you never even believed you would. And you will hit ranks faster than you ever believed you would. And your checks will increase and they'll double and they'll triple. Next thing you know, you don't even think about an auto ship. You can't, you've increased your auto ship so that you can increase your volume, whatever. You just keep going, guys. Make sure you have a landing page. Make sure you have an autoresponder. And make sure you know how to listen to people. That's probably the biggest skill that a lot of network marketers just totally leave out. I love you all. This is Coach Tara, the Mind Reset Coach, coming to you with some marketing tips tonight. Listen up. Pay attention. And if you're feeling like you don't know what to do, you're feeling like, oh, I can't remember what our last conversation was, you can't lose that conversation on Facebook. You just can't. Just scroll up a little bit or open the full conversation 
and look at the history and find out what it is you guys talked about. Okay? Some of y'all are busting butt out there and you're talking to 100 people a day. How could you possibly? The way you keep track is by looking at the conversation you've got. When you're talking to somebody on Facebook, click on their profile and look at their profile while you're speaking to them. Stop being lazy and start listening. I love you. Peace.